Hey, it's Tommy Coletti. We are here in Corona, California. I'm here with Kurt Walton, product manager at Charvel Jackson EVH Gretsch here in the shop. And we thought it would kind of walk around here and find some cool stuff to talk about. This is one of our RR 1.5s that we've been doing for years, obviously based off Randy's Concord. We made some slight changes to kind of get it past everybody so they kind of saluted and said it was okay for us to do. So slight changes from Randy's original guitar, like this one has a recessed Floyd route, um, but each one has its own little thing. Normally with us you won't see the white with the black stripes just like Randy, and if it is then we'll change something else like maybe the inlays are different. But this was, am I correct in saying, based off the drawings that Mike Shannon and Chip Ellis did on Randy's guitar about 10 or 12 years ago, right? Yeah, I'd say that's correct. Yep. Yeah. And these are super cool, and we love getting these in. It's just a whole different vibe than the RR1. Um, the RR1.5 name uh, from longtime Fender employee Brian McDonald. Shout out to Brian. He's with Seymour Duncan now. Uh, and his idea was like, this would be the next step of like, if Randy was still playing this guitar, maybe slight changes that Randy would have made through the years and that we're kind of having fun with it. We keep running with it. Um, besides this guitar, there was some cool stuff that I think you guys should see. Uh, there are some original templates for some of the Charvel and Jacksons that we love so much. You want to share with the class? Sure, yeah. Right here we got a stack of templates. This right here is a, you may remember this one, the Jackson Roswell template, Roswell Rhodes. Uh, Another extension of the Rhodes family there. Absolutely. Just a, more of a modern design. Modern at the time. This here is a template for the original template for the Phil Collin archtop signature cool. model that we had at one point in time. That's beautiful. Right here would be this is the template for the star model when we moved from the two and three sixteenths neck pocket up to the two and a quarter. So I date this late 80s, likely. Very cool. So we got a really old Kelly template here. This, this color of the material signifies it being one of the really old original templates. You can see it's been through hell and back, routed a bunch of times, drilled. It's been through the ringer, to say the least. And here we got an original rough mill tracer from a 22 fret dinky with the original horn set up here. That's great. Now, just for the, for the at-home people, when you have the template, what's a builder's process? They take this template and they're gonna just pencil it out? These, these templates can be used for a lot of things. Sometimes they're used all the way from the raw wood selection. Take it out to the wood warehouse, set it on, on a piece of wood to see if it's wide enough, long enough, maybe to set it on a top to see if it's gonna meet all the requirements and the figure is going to be in the right spots and not in the wrong spots. All the way up from that to, you can see the screw holes here, after they rough everything out and get everything ready to cut, they'll do a rough tracing and then cut it on a bandsaw, but then they'll screw this right to the guitar and take it to the pin router and do it just the way we've been doing since the beginning. Handmade. So cool. Do you remember? The old days of Charvel? I remember some of the old days. I've been here a long time. Um, How many years? Just over 20 years now at okay. this point. Um, so do you remember when we first started doing like our mahogany Charvels? I and, do. Like, the oil Charvels and things I like remember that? at the time I was working doing the fret dressing for all Jackson Charvel and I'd start seeing these models come through and I'd say I, I think the first one I said, what, hey, this one, you guys forgot to paint this one. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, no, no, this is an oil thing. This is a new thing we're doing, oil finish. And then, so finished it. And then when we took it in the sound room after it was done, we were like, oh my God, this thing rings like a bell. And it opened up a whole new door yeah. for us, what we were doing and what we thought about uh, finishing guitars. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I mean, it was a... It was an experiment that we were all, we were both like, well, let's try one. Let's see what happens, you know. Like, yeah. and it was a thing back in in the early '80s. There were I don't know if they started out as parts guitars, but there were certainly like 
mahogany guitars that I remember that were just literally oil finishes. Yeah. And I don't know if they, you know, it might have been like, okay, we have a body and neck. Oh, so maybe somebody wants to build, we'll put it together and sell it. Yeah. But uh, I don't remember them necessarily new on the rack in a guitar store. Yeah, typically they had those eye-catching, you know, glass-like right. finishes right. to them at that, in that era. Yeah. But there were, I mean, the one thing that's been consistent for Jackson Charvel over the entire history of the brand has been the customization and, and uniqueness from one guitar to the other. Even so far as, you know, we're building 10 of the same model, there's still going to be a little difference between yeah. this one and that one. Custom Just guitar. It's based on that tree grew over there, that tree grew over there. And that Different person. densities. That person working that day, sanding yeah. the neck or yeah. doing the fret dress. It all comes and adds up to a great guitar at the end of the yeah. day. And that's so important to remember, you know, like now with everything being so cookie cutter, when you get into a moment where you still have a shop that's making your guitar, and it's a custom thing and everything we can, in the music zoo we've been calling them snowflakes because everyone's a little different yeah. you know and for the people that just want the same thing over and over again it might actually not be for you for the, but the person that really wants a select custom guitar that's like uniquely yours then you're in the right place you know absolutely yeah and we've been doing this with you guys for 25 years or so, so. somewhere I mean, around there yeah it's our 30th anniversary but like yeah it's pretty close to the whole run yeah. we've been making charvels even in the days when nobody was just like what you want charvels not jackson's yeah 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 so yeah thanks i appreciate it you're quite welcome <laughs>